I don't know if any of you have ever been to the glass floor of the One World Trade Center. But you get there, and you look down, and there's only thousands of feet separating you from hard concrete. And the only thing that prevents you from falling through is this thin layer of glass. That's what living in this country was like a few years ago. Growing up as a Muslim first generation kid, you're aware of the racism, the xenophobia, the complete and utter hatred that you live around. But you hold faith in that thin layer of glass. You know it'll never break. You know that there'll never be a time in which this country, in which your government, will not protect you from blatant xenophobia and hatred. You hold faith in that thin layer of glass. In 2016, that glass broke, not just for me, but for everyone. Our hopes, our dreams, our faith in the state plunged thousands of feet down as we were exposed, as our very president tr passed a travel ban on people of our religion, as he imprisoned hundreds and hundreds of immigrants, as he empowered our state institutions to a torment find out and single out certain groups of people. That glass shattered, leaving us incredibly exposed. I joined Why Vote in 2017 to preserve the little of glass that we had left and to make certain that when we rebuild it, which we would, that this time we would rebuild it with concrete to make it truly unbreakable. I've been there since the beginning. I remember walking into that room in CUNY Grad Center and seeing for the first time in my life hundreds and hundreds of youth, it was probably around maybe a hundred people to be real, just talking, talking about politics, talking about the change that they wanted to see in their government and for the first time in my life, I felt empowered. I felt as if we could do something, as if that glass wouldn't just be shattered pieces on the edge of a sidewalk, as if that glass could be rebuilt, but this time with concrete. 